distribution is Bernoulli distribution. So this is this is the definition of this particular distribution. Here, with if you go with binomial distribution or Poisson distribution, distribution remains the same. These sentences only these functions will change. So one definition if you study, the other four definition you can frame if you know the functions. So this is the definition of Bernoulli distribution. But in case of theoretical distribution, with theory questions rather than definition, you should concentrate over the features, the features of each distribution. If you are thorough with the features of all the distribution, then it is very easy to answer for the theory questions of this uh, theoretical distributions. Now we will see what are the features of this Bernoulli distributions. Now in that first one, the features in that first feature, the Bernoulli distribution has only one constant that is one parameter that the parameter is the parameter of Bernoulli distribution is P. So P is the parameter of Bernoulli distribution. What is that parameter means? Parameter is the term which, which defines the particular distribution or particular thing about what we are speaking. This particular term it will define that we call it as parameter. Here it is very very important you should know what are the parameters of different distribution. But Bernoulli distribution the parameter of Bernoulli distribution is P that is the first feature. Then the second one the range of the range of Bernoulli distribution what is the range? Range is x is equal to 0, 0,1. So this is the range of Bernoulli distribution. Range of Bernoulli distribution is only 0 and 1, not more than that. That is the range of Bernoulli distribution. Next, the probability mass function. What is the probability mass function of Bernoulli distribution? What is the probability mass function? What is the function? That is Px is equal to P to the P of x is equal to P to the power x q to the power 1 minus x where x is equal to 0, 1 and p is greater than 0 but lesser than 1 and q is equal to 1 minus p. See, this is the probability mass function of Bernoulli distribution. So question comes, write the probability mass function of Bernoulli distribution. This you have to write. What is the range of Bernoulli distribution? x, 0 and 1. What is the parameter of Bernoulli distribution? It is P. The next comes that is fourth one. Here in Bernoulli distribution the mean is equal to, how to find out mean? Mean is equal to P. This parameter itself is a mean. It is P and variance is equal to variance is equal to PQ. P into Q that is the variance and Standard deviation is equal to root of PQ. Standard deviation is here root of PQ. What variance you will find out? The root of variance we call it as it is standard deviation. So this is the fourth feature of Bernoulli distribution. And the fifth one, the last one in Bernoulli distribution mean is greater than mean is greater than variance. Here yeah, mean is greater than Variance. You can present it. Mean is P. P is greater than PQ. Variance. Mean is greater than variance. This is also a possible question. Which is the distribution where mean is greater than variance? That is Bernoulli distribution. So you need to be thorough with the features of Bernoulli distribution. One more thing I will tell. It is difficult at the last after completing seven distribution. If I, I am going to study all the features. No, it is difficult. You have to practice it. Since from the first distribution it is Bernoulli, you have to be thorough when we are going to next distribution, by the time you have to be thorough with the features of Bernoulli distribution, then it will be easy. There is no other way to answer one line two marks questions of theoretical distribution. Please th be thorough with the features. Now, here first feature is Bernoulli distribution, the only one parameter that is P and here the range is x is 0 and 1 is the range of Bernoulli distribution. And probability mass function is P of x is equal to P to the power x and Q 1 minus x where x is equal to 0, 1 and P is greater than 0 but lesser than 1 and Q is 
1 minus p and the binomial distribution sorry Bernoulli distribution mean is equal to p that parameter itself variance is equal to p q and standard deviation is equal to root of p q then in Bernoulli distribution mean is greater than variance so this is about the definition and features of Bernoulli distribution now we will see how to write the distribution Bernoulli distribution with parameter Now, the Bernoulli distribution, the Bernoulli distribution written with parameter P, with parameter P, how to present? When the question comes, write the Bernoulli distribution means it has to be with the table. Write the probability mass function means it should be in this form. It should be in this form. Write the distribution means where the word distribution comes means you have to present it in the form of table. X and your 0, 1. Here Q and P. Here it is total and here you get 1. So this is the Bernoulli distribution. The 0, 0 is always we say that not happening of that event. So it denoted by Q. P is happening of that event denoted by Q. So 0 and 1, 2 and 2, P. Here we present in the form of ratios. It should get, the probability means it should get in the, we should get a total as 1. Now, what can be the examples? They give two examples. The examples of Binomial, sorry, Bernoulli distribution. What? A tossing of coin. The obtaining the number of heads when a coin is tossed. What is the probability of getting number of heads? Tossing a coin that you can give. Tossing a coin. There, guessing a number of heads when a coin is coin is tossed. That example. Then um, the possibility of getting um. What a boy baby, possibility of getting a boy baby when a baby is born. That is also 1 by 2. It may be girl or it may be boy. So that you can give when a baby is born. The possibility of getting a male baby. Possibility of getting male baby when a baby is born. You have to write it in a sentence. That is one example. Other example, the possibility of getting head when a coin is tossed. Two examples. Please remember at least two examples. It will come for two marks. Give uh, examples of Bernoulli distribution. I told here possible questions. Here features, any questions may come. And one more question, example. What is the example? Or else write the Bernoulli distribution. Bernoulli distribution with parameter P. One more concept is called here Bernoulli trial. What do you mean by Bernoulli trial? Trial is nothing but here we... We see the uh, function at, for example, tossing a coin once. That is Bernoulli distribution. Now, Bernoulli trial means tossing a coin number of times. That is Bernoulli trial. So, Bernoulli distribution means to tossing a coin once. Bernoulli trial means tossing a coin number of times. So, these are the theory aspect of this particular distribution. That is Bernoulli distribution. It is very easy distribution compared to other distributions. Here only 1 and 2 marks possible questions are there. Now, next we will see what are the practical uh, problems you will get, possible questions you may get in this particular chapter. Now we will uh, see the problems under binomial distributions. Now see the first problem. If P is equal to 0 0.25, that is the parameter, P is nothing but parameter. For a Bernoulli distribution, B dot D, that is Bernoulli distribution, find mean and variance. Find their mean and variance. What they have given in the problem, write there what is given. First you write the solution. The given. Parameter is given there that is P is equal to 0 
0.25. Now, what we need to find out in the mean and variance. What is mean here? We know that the mean is equal to P, that is parameter itself. And variance is here, the variance is P into Q. Now, we know the value of P. How to find out Q here? Q is equal to 1 minus P. Now, what is the value of P here? P is 0 0.25, that is 1 minus 0 0.25. Here we get Q as 0 0.75. We get the value of Q as 0 0.75. Then here, find the value of mean. Mean is parameter itself, that is 0 0.25. So, 0 0.25 is the value of mean, then variance. Variance is P into Q. What is the value of P? P is 0 0.25 multiplied by the value of Q, that is nothing but 1 minus P, that is 0 0.75. When you multiply 0 0.25 into 0 0.75, you get that 0 0.1875. So, this is the value of variance. This is the value of variance. This question may come for 2 marks. This question may come for 2 marks. Here the parameter will be given. Sometimes they will not mention P. They will give the parameter is 0.25. So you have to consider as P. Then find their mean and variance. For example, if they ask standard deviation, then root of P and Q. Now we will see another problem here. Now read the problem here. Write down the probability mass function of Bernoulli distribution with parameter. As I said, see here, they have not mentioned as P, they have just given the parameter. Parameter is 0 0.7 and also find standard deviation. What we need to find out? Standard deviation. First, we need to write, see, write down the probability mass function. Two questions are there. Write down the probability mass function with parameter. 0.7 and also find standard deviation. Two questions are there. Now, write the solution here. The solution. What is given? The given is P is equal to 0.7. Now, how, how to write probability mass function? The probability mass function is equal to P of X. The probability mass function is P of x is equal to P to the power x, Q to the power 1 minus x and x is equal to 0 comma 1. You have to write this. x is equal to 0 comma 1. Now, what do we require there? P we know that. Then we require value of Q. What is the value? How to find out the value of Q? Q is equal to 1 minus P. Here, P is 0 0.7. So, 1 minus 0 0.7, we get value of Q as 0 0.3. Value of Q, we get as 0 0.3. Now, present in the form of probability mass function where the P is 0. Point, the P of X, 0 0.7X into to the power X into Q, 0 0.3, 1 minus X x is equal to 0 comma 1. Nothing to calculate, only to present. We present it in the form of probability mass function. That's it. One first question, go to. What is the next question? Find standard deviation. There, what is the formula for standard deviation? The variance is p into q, the root of variance, root p, q. That is a standard deviation. Now, here, according to this particular problem, here, what is the value of P? P is 0 0.7 into 0 0.3. 0 0.7 into 0 0.3. What do you get there? When you multiply, you get as 0 0.21. Now, take the root of 0 0.21. When you take the root of 0 0.21, you will get 0 0.4583. So, this is about second problem. See? Here nothing to calculate, just you have to present in the form of probability mass function and now just you have to present in the form of probability mass function and here you have to find out the standard deviation. So this is about these two problems and for the two more problems we will discuss. Here you are going to answer only one and two mark questions, nothing 
difficult problem. Two more questions we'll discuss further. We'll see further two more problems. Now see third problem. Write down the Bernoulli distribution. The previous one was write down the probability mass function. Probability mass function means you have to write the function. Which function? P of x where p is equal to x, q is equal to 1 minus x. You have to the value of p and q. Then you have to present with this particular function. But here Bernoulli distribution. When word distribution comes, we should go with the table. As I said, we need to go with the table. But we know the value of here. Let the solution here. We know the value of P. P is equal to 1 by 3. Then what else we require? We need to find out Q. Q is 1 minus P. 1 minus 1 by 3. Q will get there 2 by 3. This is the value of Q. Now some people you will get confused with how we got 2 by 3. 3 is there. Out of 3, 1 part is here. Out of 3, 1 is here. How many are remaining? 3 minus 1 means 2. So, 1 more part. 2 by 3. I hope it is clear. 1 by 3. Here we get Q as 2 by 3. Now, the probability distribution, the, prob the Bernoulli distribution is right there. The Bernoulli distribution is From the table x and p of x. Now, what did I say? 0 and 1. Here, we take it as 0 and 1. Here, the limitation. Here, total. 0 means here, I said, the not happening. That is 2 by 3. The q value, 2 by 3. Here it is. 1 by 3. The total is 1. So this is the Bernoulli distribution. Next, now here, one more question. That is mean and standard deviation. Mean and standard deviation. Now, the mean is equal to, mean is equal to P. What is the value of P? That is 1 by 3. This is the value of P. And find standard deviation. The standard deviation formula is root P, Q. What is the value of P here? Value of P is 1 by 3 and value of Q is 2 by 3. And when you take, multiply, you will get here 2 by 9 and in the root you will get there 0 0.222 something. 2 it will continue and number of times. When you take the root of this, you will get 0 0.4714. That is the Standard deviation 0.4714 standard deviation of this particular curve. So this is about probability distribution. Write the probability distribution and the mean and standard deviation. Then we we'll see the next problem that is fourth one. There if p is equal to 1 by 2 for a binomial distribution, write down the mean and variation. Now write the solution. P is equal to 1 by 2. Then the Q is equal to 1 minus P. So 1 minus 1 by 2. The Q is also 1 by 2. You will get there Q as 1 by 2. Then next, what, what is the next question? Mean and variance. What is the mean? Mean is equal to P. P value is 1 by 2. This is the mean of this particular problem. And variance variance is equal to P. What is the value of P? P is 1 by 2 and Q is 1 by 2. So you will get here 2 by 4. This is the variance of this particular problem. So this is about we completed here 4 problems. And exercise problems are there. Some other problems you will get in the form of worksheet. And here this is the simplest distribution in theoretical distribution. Very simple distribution. This will come for 192 marks. With theory part you have to study features properly and one two examples. 
and here these four kinds of problem if you are thorough with it is easy so we can i think we can wind up with today's class then other distribution the next distribution that is binomial distribution which is once again very important that we will discuss in the next class